happy to welcome you to today's episode. I'm Toby and as you might have guessed, this video is about the torque of stepper motors. When working on robotics projects, it sometimes is quite hard to select the right motor. One that is actually useful and does not only lift an arm or attachment, but also some payload. So, how can we measure a rotational force? Luckily, some people already thought it through, dating back to Archimedes and his studies about levers. Fast forwarding to today, nearly every available stepper motor comes with a data sheet that readily tells us the torque of it. Torque has dimension, force times distance, and the official SI unit is Newton meter. One Newton meter is equal to the torque resulting from a force of one Newton applied perpendicularly to the end of a moment arm that is one meter long. Well, our scales usually do not measure Newtons, so how do you calculate whether a given motor is strong enough to lift a certain weight? We can use conversion factors to either convert to one kilogram force meter or one pound force inch. The US is slowly moving towards the metric system, inch by inch. Now we are equipped to convert these specification values to something understandable. Let's take a look at the NEMA 17 I have lying around. And here is a typical data sheet. I got this one from the National Instruments website that contains a stepper with similar values to the one I was showing. Now, although this says 0.44 Newton meters in the table, the torque versus speed graph tells us that it's actually more like 0.36 at low RPMs. So always keep in mind that the achievable torque is dependent on the speed at which you drive the stepper. In general, the higher the speed, the lesser the torque. So for this one, let's assume a torque of 0.36 Newton meters. To find out how much weight it can lift, we use the constants from above. That means, if we attach a weight on an arm one centimeter away from the center of the motor, it should be able to lift nearly 3.7 kilograms. This is a linear relation, so for every additional centimeter we move away from the center of the motor, we have to divide above values by the number of centimeters. I quickly plotted this relationship for you guys. We can see the nearly 3.7 kilograms at centimeter one, which is already halved at two centimeters. Now, if we move to 10 centimeters, it will only be able to lift one tenth of the 3.7 kilograms, meaning 370 gram. At 50 centimeters, it is already down to just 70 grams. Let's put this to the test. I printed this small lever that fits right onto the D-shaft of the motor and placed some holes at the distances of 1, 5 and 10 centimeters away from the motor center. The motor is driven by a BLTB6600 version 1.2 board that can handle up to 4.5 amps. And this is controlled by an Arduino Nano with an attached joystick. Now let's attach some weight to the lever and see if the motor is able to lift it. Here we are in the testing rig corner. <laughs> These are some bars I have, a, I have around from another project. <coughs> Um, here is our NEMA 17 stepper motor with the attached lever and the cradle that contains a full can of some chocolate drink which weighs around 300 grams so we are on the safe side regarding the specifications here and now we'll see whether it's able to lift it or not. It's fixed at 10 centimeters on the lever and I move the joystick. Beautiful. Well, well, this is certainly cool. It's not really that impressive. So let's step this up a notch. Now, lifting cans of chocolate milk is all good and fine, but as a proper German, I'm interested in the question on whether it can lift a beer. So we have this 550 gram uh, weighing can here, and I got a new motor. It is a NEMA 17, the same base as before, but this one has a metal gear attached, which has a ratio of 27 to one. And now we'll check how far we can go with this. So we'll start off with this can of beer and see if it can lift it.
This looks fine. I, th I, th I think the, the lever is skipping a little bit. You can see it here. The plastic with the reinforcement screws is not that strong, but let's put on some more weight. Now we still have the same motor configuration, NEMA 17, 27 to 1 gear ratio metal gear, but instead of the 550 gram can, we attach the 2.5 kilogram weight to the lever at the distance of 10 centimeters from the motor. Let's see it if we can lift it. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Alright, alright. So, the motor was definitely able to lift up 2.5 kilograms. What was not able to lift 2.5 kilograms plus a motor was my uh, questionable setup of the bars that supported the motor. Yes, uh, I scared the neighbors, but I want to make sure no motors or microcontrollers have been harmed during taking off this movie. The takeaways of today's lab stream are how to select a motor based on your needs of lifting power, stepper motors have less torque at higher speeds and you can drastically increase the torque of a motor by using gear ratios greater than 1. Have an awesome day and bye bye. If you had as much fun as I had with today's episode, please consider liking or subscribing to my channel or visiting my Patreon page.